Hello guys and welcome back to another video on the Build and Repair Restore channel. So today's video topic is going to be about how to cal calculate how many blocks or bricks needed to build a wall. This can apply to just a single wall, like a garden wall, um, or for more complicated projects, let's say an extension or a garden house or a garage build where you've got multiple walls. Um, you can apply these calculations in those circumstances as well by dealing with each wall separately and then just adding up the total uh, at the end. So we're going to start off with an example of a block wall. We'll go through block walls and brick walls and I'm going to be dealing in this video with the British standard sizes. You can apply what I'm going to show you guys to any size brick or block, as long as you know what the dimensions are, whether it's in uh, inches or centimeters, um, just convert it to whatever you need. So we're going to start off with a block wall. And my example is going to be using a 2.4 meter high wall, which is quite a standard height wall in the UK. And we're going to uh, assume the wall is two meters wide. So, the first thing we need to calculate is what is the square meterage of the wall. So in this case, we will be using the calculation of the height by the length. So in this case, that will be 2.4 meters multiplied by 2 meters, which is 4.8 square meters. So that's how we calculate the square meterage of the wall that we're going to be dealing with. Once we've got the size of the wall and we've chosen what blocks we're going to use, we need to do a similar calculation to find out what the square meterage of one single block is. So in this case, I'm using again a standard British concrete dense block. Um, a height typically is 215 millimeters and the length is typically 440 millimeters. So I'll be converting these into meters so to convert millimeters into meters you simply divide the number by 1000 so in this case we have 0 0.215 meters for the height and our length is 0 0.44 meters and same like we did with the, the block wall all we have to do is multiply the height by the width and then we will get the square meterage for this block. So in this case, our square meterage is 0 0.095 square meters. So we're also going to do the same for a brick. This is, again, a typical British standard size brick, which you'll find in most places. So again, our height is 65 millimeters and in meters we divide that by 1000 we get 0 0.05 our length is 215 millimeters which converts to 0 0.215 in meters so our square meterage for one typical standard brick is 0 0.0139 square meters so now we've got the size of the wall we've got the size of a block and we're going to calculate now how many blocks do we need to build that size wall. So our wall is 4.8 square meters and we know that our block is 0 0.95 square meters. So we're going to do a simple division, which is to calculate how many blocks will fit into one wall. So that calculation is 4.8 divided by 0 0.095 and we get 50.5 so it's 50 and a half blocks so obviously we will uh, round that up to 51 blocks and obviously you know you should allow some extra as well for breaks or awkward cuts um, wastage and so on but all fitting perfectly you're looking at about 51 blocks so we can move on to bricks so in a similar situation if we're going to do the same wall in bricks, we can apply the exact same calculation for the brickwork. 
And in this case, again, we have 4.8 square meter wall. And the size of one of our bricks is 0 0.0139. So same thing again, we'll do the same calculation. Number of uh, bricks needed is 4.8 divided by 0 0.0139, which gives us 345.3. Round that up to 346 bricks. So you can see the difference between the number of bricks required and the number of blocks required is drastically different uh, typically with the bricks and blocks that we have in the UK one block is equivalent to six bricks so uh, that's another quick way of doing it if you know you need 50 blocks you could just sort of multiply that by six and then that would give you how many bricks you need um, obviously uh, more bricks requires will take longer to lay hence why typically if you're building a wall out of block or out of brick you will tend to find it will be more expensive uh, labor wise to lay uh, the wall in bricks and it will also cost more in materials to purchase the bricks so this is why many times people go for block walls and render um, you see a lot of the garden houses that we build are built out of block and rendered. Um, it typically ends up working out cheaper. Um, for instance, uh, as I said, every one block you lay, you've got to lay six bricks. Um, obviously, as well, with blocks, we typically render them so you can kind of lay them a bit quicker because you haven't got to, you know, do such detailed point work and stuff like that. So it makes it a lot um a lot quicker to lay another important factor that affects the cost of bricks versus blocks is that blocks bricks tend to be approximately i would say five times more expensive so for instance you might buy one concrete block for about one pound fifty to say one pound eighty and a typical brick will be somewhere between uh seventy pence and one pound so you're looking about five pounds to get six bricks um whereas you can get a block for less than two pounds so it's considerably different in that sense so yeah that's all i wanted to show you guys on this i've got many more videos like this gonna come up which will help people who are self-building um, or doing building diy projects and they want to know certain things like how much materials will i need it will also help you to budget once you know how much materials you need you know how much money it's going to cost and it will just also help you to make sure you order the right quantities for whatever your projects are so i hope this video has been helpful and beneficial let me know what you guys think in the comment section and uh, please like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep updated with all our projects so once again, guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care.